The state of the world's agriculture affects you, me, and almost everyone else on the planet. We need to transform agriculture for good. Let me tell you why. Of the thousands of plants suitable for human consumption, only four major crops, maize, wheat, rice, and soybean, provide more than half of the world's food. We also use major food crops for fuel and animal feeds. Now think about our changing world. We are already experiencing climate change. The world population continues to grow. The planet is getting hotter. Will the major crops by themselves cope in hotter, drier conditions, withstand flooding, pests and diseases, and meet our increasing demand for food and energy? What are we doing to ensure a more sustainable world for future generations. We need a global action plan to transform agriculture for good. This must include neglected and underutilized crops that can diversify our food systems beyond just the world's major crops grown as monocultures. With a wider range of crops, agricultural diversification can contribute to improve incomes, food security and nutrition, provide cropping systems that are more resilient to climate change and identify non-food crops for renewable energy. Crops for the Future, the Global Research Centre for Underutilised Crops, is demonstrating how agricultural diversification can help transform agriculture for good. We share knowledge, develop alternatives to the major crops and cropping systems and raise awareness of the issues facing global agriculture. We are testing disruptive innovations for agriculture. For example, we are replacing unsustainable fish meal captured from the oceans with insect meal from black soldier flies fed on underutilized crops to provide novel feed for aquaculture. Our aquaculture industry, which is supposed to be trying to alleviate our dependence on capture fisheries, actually uses fish. We feed fish to other fish. In fact, we feed more fish to the aquaculture fish than we produce. In order to solve this problem, we are researching how to substitute insects for fish and fish meal and fish oil. But importantly, we don't want those insects to be eating food that humans could eat directly. So we use underutilized crops that can be grown on marginal soils. In this way, our insect meal and our insect oil can be sustainable and can be scalable. We are also linking community knowledge and scientific studies to build an interactive evidence base for farmers, researchers and the agriculture industry. This will provide options for which underutilized crops and cropping systems can best meet our current and future needs. One of the important crop-based projects is to build an online application tool that can assist the farmers find the alternative options in terms of growing crops and evaluate their impact on their livelihoods. So CropBase actually is a mediator, will provide information for the local producers about the alternatives or the other options that they, they can use and, and these options can be really customized based on their needs. Transforming agriculture for good is a global effort. For this, we are building an international alliance of partners. Together, we will deliver a global action plan for agricultural diversification, or GAPAD, to help meet the United Nations goal of zero poverty by 2030. Global agriculture is at a crossroads. We cannot simply depend on a small number of the world's major crops to sustain over nine billion people in the volatile and unpredictable climates of the future. We need bold and imaginative solutions to diversify global agriculture. We need to transform agriculture for good.